Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. The holidays can get so busy and sometimes you still want to make a special handmade card. Well, this project today is like super fast and very easy. So this will be perfect um, if you just need something really quick. Also, if you're a beginner stamper, pay attention to this post because all you need is stamps, ink, and paper. You don't need any special tools and really you only need two colors of ink and black, which you probably already have. So let's get started. Look how simple this is, but still so festive. All you're gonna need are stamps, ink, and paper. I'm gonna be using the Christmas season for the foliage and the Christmas to remember for the sentiments. I love the sentiments in this set. Now stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you a couple other cool color combinations. And also over on my website, there's a downloadable project sheet that has all the measurements and the supplies. Let me show you how fast this is to put together. I'm actually going to start a timer. We'll see how quickly I can do it. I'm going to bring out both of my pieces of paper. I'm going to stamp the outside and the inside at the same time. We're going to ink this up. And what we're doing is just kind of making a frame for our sentiment. And we're going to go all the way around the corners. And I'm not really even <laughs> paying attention too much about it being exact. Like this just, it kind of looks good to me, uneven. And um, yeah, you just don't even have to stress about it. This stamp set is really forgiving anyway. Now grab your berries. And you're going to just kind of put a set of berries between each holly leaf. I'm kind of rotating this so it doesn't all look the same. These berries are kind of in an odd shape because it does come with a uh, like a stem to go in between them, but we're not gonna use that for this project. I've got another project coming up with that. Now grab your dots and I'm just gonna like randomly put these around rotating this. I don't, I don't want it even, but maybe you do. Maybe you want this to be really symmetrical. So it really is up to you how you want to do it. Oh, I feel like I'm trying to be not symmetrical, but then I am. <laughs> okay, let's throw a couple dots on here. There we go. Now grab your sentiment. Ink that up. This is always the hard part, getting it right in the center with this camera in the way. Let's see if how I do. Yep. That looks good. All right, now I'm gonna grab my paper. Oh no, I forgot to get my glue out. <laughs> Pause my timer. All right, start my timer back up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some glue on the back of here, making sure to kind of get the corners and then a little bit in the middle. Center that up on your cardstock. There. Now throw some on the inside. Now you could put a sentiment on the inside of your card too if you want to there we go done you could bang out a whole bunch of these cards in an hour or something while you're watching tv so this is the set that we made and i just added a little decoration to the envelope and this is just really traditional christmas colors this one's pretty traditional also, but honestly, my favorite ones were these different color combinations that are just so pretty. This one was my absolute favorite, which really surprised me, blue and red, but man, does that work. I love it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite color combination was. Let me know if you come up with other uh, color combinations, because I would really love to give it a try. And also, let me know how fast you could make this card. If you need gift suggestions for the holidays coming up, please reach out to me. I am so happy to help you with that. One thing I will suggest are the Stampin' Up! kits. They are just 19 bucks, so it's a perfect price point. It comes with everything you need to make the project inside. I've got the link to that down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.